What is up guys? It's your boy Milad coming to you on another day with another vlog. Yeah, so this is the start of a trip where I'm just gonna take you guys with me, film as much as I can. A uh, little background I guess. Going to New York City for the Afghan American Conference happening in NYU Law School, I believe. It's gonna be an interesting trip. I've never one flied on my own anywhere, so that's gonna be new to me. Two, I'm living in a hotel on my own, and it's, I'm going across the country. I don't know what to expect. It's spring break, still waiting for final grades to come in too, so it's gonna be an interesting trip. I'll be arriving there at 12.30 in the morning tomorrow. Leaving in a couple hours, not a couple hours, 3.50 p.m. here. Three hour time difference, and just thought I'd start the vlog right now. I didn't know when to start it, so let's go. Oh crap, my hair is a mess. Okay. Alright guys, almost ready. I got this big jacket. Oh, no. I thought I forgot to take off one of the tags. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna need because apparently there's a blizzard going on over there. But yeah, about to head out to the airport. <laughs> Let's go do this. I've never, I, I don't know what to expect. We'll see how this goes. I moved because they changed my gate and I didn't even realize it. But it's good because the flight boards in I think 20 minutes, so I'm still good to go for now. Alright, I'm here at my gate. It says it's gonna be 3 degrees Celsius there, 39 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know. A lot of you guys have been commenting on this, by the way. The beard. I'm growing it out. I <laughs> know. Landed in New York's New York JFK Airport. It's absolutely freezing here. There was not enough space for me to put my carry-on up there, so I'm about to go try and ground. There's a lot of people there. Oh my god! I gotta be quick with this. It's midnight right now. I don't know how many of these baggage claim signs I've been following. Baggage should be pulling up right here. What is up, guys? It's the next morning. Just got some toothpaste sent down for me. Um, yeah. Currently here at the hotel room right now. Got in last night super late. Wasn't filming because of how late it was. I was out on the subway, everything. Now, I'm here for the Afghan American Conference. So I'm about to go get ready for that because that I gotta be there in half an hour and I gotta walk and get in the business casual suit and everything like that. But yeah, let me show you guys the view I have from the hotel. what I can see right out the window pretty cool pretty sweet so I'll take you guys along for my day I don't know how much I can film but we'll see you see <clears throat> this is probably how I would usually dress if I was in Cali but because I'm in New York and it feels like it's gonna be cold outside I might need to bring a coat there you go much more warm don't think I tied my tie that well, but oh well. What is up guys, currently out here on the streets. I don't know how people look at filming here. If it's new, if it's crazy, I'm pretty sure it's not, but I don't know which part of New York I'm in. But I'm heading over to New York University. That's where the conference is at. There's some basketball courts out here too. Eh, they don't want to catch these hands. Forward after something happened to them. 
after then failing the test or failing the exam. When I was uh, 18 years old, I decided to go to Nassau Community College. Uh, I wanted to, I, I, first class was law. I don't know why I was doing that, but I literally, I'm coming out of high school, I barely graduated high school, I was in special ed resource room my whole life. So here I am going to college for the first time, and I can't wait. I went to get like 18 credits, like you can't take 18 credits, you have to go to the OO1 class first. I'm like, oh, whatever. After one semester, I realized school not for me, I dropped out. I have, I have reading skills and, and, and my vocabulary is very, very poor, but I'm not going to do that. So what I did was I went to, I went to Wall Street. I applied for my Series 7 license. For those of you that know, it's a very hard test. I, I took it once, 41, 70 passing. I took it twice, 62, 64, 62, 64. And the sixth time, I passed the 71. Daily pass. So, that was someone else's one, I think. <laughs> <laughs> times to, to, uh, to become successful. In the last 15 years, 18 years of that, I made a tremendous amount of money, okay? But I failed, and that's what I want to come across right now. A lot of people have a very low tolerance of failure, okay? Failure is part of success. You have to make sure that you're there. Fast forward to 2008, um, um, 2007, I'm looking at the top of my life again, having a wonderful life, having a very, very beautiful house, and a beautiful, my whole life was beautiful. But 2008, the crisis came, the crisis put me down. I lost everything. House was in foreclosure, lost all my money, my car, everything. Lost it, everything. I went to a small bedroom the size of a 10 by 10. I moved into a friend. It went from a 9,000 square foot house to a small bedroom. It's really like heart wrenching where you can actually lose everything. But one thing that I didn't lose, I did not lose my grind. I didn't lose my, I lost my money, lost my house, lost my car, but I didn't lose my grind. In 2015, we generated over $100 million in funding. So it was a, it was a very big. <laughs> 2017 was a very successful year, over $175 million. We're one of the top guys in the industry right now. But everything that we've done has come from failure. And I wanted uh, you guys to be aware of that. I get all the time people hitting me up on Instagram or Facebook, hey, you know, show me your light, show me the rope, show me this, show me that. Okay, first thing I tell you to do is, People have to send me a resume to so-and-so, uh, email address, right? But well, I was telling Tariq before, when you ask people for resumes, 50% of people do not even send a resume. 25% do, they don't even show up. There's a very small percentage of people that hit me up, that actually show up, okay? You can't be successful working nine to five and think, where's my success? People are here for two months that work for me and can knock on my door, how come I'm not making money yet? How do you expect to make money in two months? There's absolutely no way anything you do in life that you'll be successful in two months. You have to make sure you be patient in life. You have to make sure after two years, you become decent. After three years, you become good. And after 10 years, if you're lucky, you become great. It takes a very, very long time for success. I want everyone to make sure that they have patience, they have a vision, they have goals, and make sure the most powerful tool in your body is your mind. Is your mind. There is no plan B. Make sure everybody goes out there and says, this is my goal, there is no plan B. Plan A is my only goal and I'll make sure that I'll get it done. What's yours? Can you please let us know who's Ed Crack in the front? Last day of the conference, let's go. What is up guys? 
It is day three that I'm here in New York and it's day three of the conference. No, I didn't vlog much yesterday. Try to get some clips in the day before, but it's gonna be like in a compilation type of format. Tomorrow, conference is not gonna be, there's no conference tomorrow is what I'm trying to say. And then I'm gonna be exploring New York, so I'll be having vlog footage for that. But right now, today's a little more casual, so I kinda went with like a regular collared shirt and I got my um, scarf going too. So, I'm gonna have to put a jacket on top of this because it's way too cold over here. My California jeans are just not handling this New York weather well. And I heard this is not even considered cold. Like, I'm struggling. But either way, I'm also running on like five hours of sleep every night for the past few nights, which I only do when I like have a ton to do. But hey, time is tight here. I'm still on California time. So. I might just adjust the day before I go back home. 